For how long will a sterilized fruiting block stay sterile and not grow anything? Uh, this one, unsealed. The answer is a long time. Uh, this one's about two weeks, maybe three weeks old. I could go in there and inoculate it right now. I could run this, no problem. This wasn't even sterilized in an autoclave. In other words, we didn't use any pressure. We sterilized this in the atmospheric steam sterilizer, which of course operates at atmospheric pressure. What's the difference? Well, an autoclave operates um, at a certain pressure, usually like 15 to 17 PSI, somewhere in that neighborhood. <clears throat> There's a linear relationship between pressure and temperature. Because water, as it changes states, at atmospheric pressure, at 212 degrees, um, water turns to steam. It can't get any hotter than 212 degrees before it turns to steam. Now, uh, when we pressurize, then we raise that boiling point. So, um, you know, at 15 PSI, I can't remember the exact number, it's like, you know, 240, 250 uh, before that water will turn to steam. So, <clears throat> pressurizing using a pressure cooker or an autoclave allows us to um, reach higher temperatures. And so, therefore, sterilization cycles take much, much less time. So, at 15 PSI, a block like this, I could probably put, I don't know, eight of them in my largest pressure cooker in there. If I ran it at 15 PSI, these would be sterilized within about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, if instead I put them in the big barrel sterilizer out here uh, in the back, and I run them at atmospheric pressure, that cycle takes anywhere from 18 to 24 hours. People say that 24 hours is too much, that you've overcooked your blocks, but uh, I've ran them for longer than that and uh, inoculated them, and they did just fine. Sometimes if you overcook your stuff, they, they grow a little slower, but um, that cycle takes a really long time because, uh, first of all, it doesn't get as hot as an autoclave, and then it takes a while for uh, all that heat to kind of reach the interior, the middle part of this block, and the bigger the block, the longer the cycle. So, uh, anyway, just to explain the... Uh, the, the kind of the relationship between uh, pressure and temperature, all that good sort of stuff. And this is a, a question I've gotten pretty frequently, so here you go. But wait a minute, 212 degrees is not hot enough to kill mold spores. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it takes like over 240 degrees or something. Not the case. Uh, so, an ungerminated spore, yes. But the reason why this uh, cycle takes so long is it actually gives enough time to the mold spores to go ahead and germinate. They open just like a seed almost. And uh, that hard protective outer shell um, breaks open, obviously. And then, uh, you know, once that tendril comes out, it's pretty easy to go ahead and kill that. It just takes a little bit longer. So um, sterilization can be achieved at atmospheric pressure, but it takes a long time. 